Hello all, I had a pretty good time doing the review on the MRE last week, so me and the old lady, we were heading over the mountain over here to Powers, I was like, heck, let's grab another one and do another one of those MRE reviews. I, I probably won't go through each individual little thing as much, you know, because I don't want to open the little bags that we necessarily won't use, you know, like the, the one with the hot sauce and stuff like that. We'll just end up throwing that in our bug out bag with the coffee and creamer, because we're not going to use that unless there's like some good grape drink or something we might let me drink some grape drink but so today we got a menu number 14 it's a vegetable manicotti vegetarian one she picked it out i picked the last one so i was like all right babe you pick this one so i figured let's go over have a picnic by the river that's a different river this here is a uh, johnson creek i do believe i'm over by powers oh, on the other side of the mountain here it's about 60 mile drive or so whatever from where i live over the mountain pretty cool drive so far, anyway. And today, we bought a freaking knife. Well, a Leatherman. This here, my boss actually gave us these Leathermans. It's pretty neat. It has a company name on it stuff. I actually shouldn't show you that. You guys would be like calling my boss like, that one asshole, you should fire him. He's like, I know, I've tried. No, I'm just like, <laughs> all right, let's see what she's got in her. Oh, it's a sharp knife here. Sweet. more. They say, always cut towards your buddy, not your body. Pretty good little hint to remember. All right. This one here. It's got a, this right here. Pineapple. Pineapple. Pineapple juice. Sugar. Wow. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Pineapple. Hey, that's, that's pretty neat. And remember to keep all your trash, everything like that. You don't want to go making a mess. Just like in the last video, which... You know, if you didn't watch the last video, it'll probably be more detailed than this one, each individual thing. So if you want to go back and check that one out, if you haven't, you know, this is pretty much to my vegetable manicotti. Pretty much to my subscribers. Sorry. Sorry, get sidetracked there. Getting all excited about some vegetable manicotti here. All right. Vegetable manicotti. This here, a carrot pound cake. Freak. Yeah, I'm... I think I'm a little more excited about this than uh, the molasses cookie last time, for sure. That molasses cookie was surprisingly really good, though. It was, it was yeah. You see, when you listen, to, when you hear the molasses cookie, it doesn't really sound all that enticing. But, man, that, that was freaking good. Okay, we got crackers again. What is this here? A ranger bar. Ranger bar. That's that's pretty interesting. Coconut ranger bar. This is going to be a pretty good one, babe. Viewers, I'm talking to my, to my awesome, beautiful camera lady over there. All right. What do we got in here? Let's make sure we ain't got no grape drink. If we got grape drink, we're going to have to open it. All right. Well, there's a pack of matches, Tabasco, chiclets, uh, instant coffee, napkin, and, uh, oh, there's tea. It's a tea drink mix. Iced tea. Okay. Yeah, we don't need to open this. This will be good to just shove in our bug out bag at home. Which, maybe I'll do a video on my bug out bag in one of these days. Not necessarily next, because I need, I need to do a vehicle review. I just bought a new truck, so that'll be coming next. I think once we get home tonight, we'll check that out. Oh, another peanut butter. Peanut butter, they say to knead it. Last time I didn't really knead it. I guess it's going to taste better if you actually work it a little bit and also with the the heater bag too whatever I, I found out that i need to do that a little differently i guess this here which uh this is some kind of chemical compound that it, it boils water or whatever and i guess i'm supposed to actually fill up the line last time i did overfill it and then knead it through the package a little bit better so it does react better I did that wrong talked to my buddy he's ex-military guy he Told me I kind of messed that up, but oh well. We're just making videos. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Cause I actually like doing them. And plus, not only that, I'm really interested on how. And most of all, this carrot pound cake. That's that right there. I'm more excited about that than a vegetable man coffee. Like I said, my old lady picked it. I would have probably picked something different. But if you guys would like these videos, I probably will pick something different next time. All right, I'll actually fill it to the fill level, not overfill it, which I got a good, nice, clean source of water here. 
mucking it up. Fish poop. All right, you see, that's what I did it last time. Way over full. So, it's pretty funny right here. It says, carton, folded in, MRE, heater, rock or something. Or something. So I didn't read this last time. Maybe I'll read this to you guys, actually. All right, this bag, let's go ahead. The vapors released by activating heater contain hydrogen and flammable gas. A flammable gas. Hydrogen is definitely a flammable gas. I, I made a hydrogen generator one time. It was on Thanksgiving. I was super interested in them, so I decided to whip one out in my Uncle Bill's garage. Pretty funny. If you ever make a hydrogen generator, just a word of advice, make sure your plates aren't going to touch because all of a sudden I noticed my water was changing colors, which hydrogen hydrogen gener generator you have 12 volt a battery whatever or something providing 12 volt hooked on two rods or plates in water and then off the negative it makes hydrogen off the positive it makes oxygen and uh so make sure your negative and positive aren't touching because uh all of a sudden my water started changing color and like a dummy i go to shake the jar and then once i shook the jar the plates that were touching inside that I didn't really realize that were changing the color of the water, they exposed over the water line. The freaking jar blew up in my face. I mean, they, people came running out of the house wondering what happened. Look, I didn't get hurt too bad in it, but just word of advice. Which, heck, maybe I'll do a hydrogen generator video one of these days. I don't know. I need to thrash on some more rigs. It's about to be wheeling time here soon, whatever, winter time, so I'll be able to make some pretty good videos for you guys. But until then, I'll keep doing random stuff like this hopefully you enjoy it because i like doing it it's my freaking channel so i do whatever i want <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoy it though otherwise it's you know i might as well just be saving videos on my phone so i can watch later all right we're gonna go ahead and put the heater in and then kind of knead it up make sure you get the water let's fold it and knead it through so it's actually water penetrating all of it all right and once again you don't want to breathe this hydrogen it makes hydrogen all right that's all kneaded through let's go ahead and get this vegetable manicotti here open up the box Which I think manicottis are like a, uh, like an egg roll, not an egg roll, but a, an egg noodle. And then I think they usually just have cottage cheese or some kind of ricotta cheese in them, I think is what a normal manicotti is. But I'm not sure what this is going to be. Hopefully it's similar. Those aren't really bad at all. Okay. Water, emery, rock or something. I didn't read the bag. I was like, oh, I'll read the bag for you guys. Yeah. I have the attention span of a four-year-old. Oh, yeah. A little bit more inclined. It's a rock or something. Okay. Let's let that cook. And let's go ahead and start trying some of this other stuff. All right. We did the crackers and peanut butter last time. So maybe we'll just save this. This will be in the save for our bug out bag. You guys seen that in the last video, so therefore we don't have to try that again. It was it was good. So uh, I really want to try this pound cake first, but let's go ahead and try the pineapple. Which last time I was really surprised how good that freaking the cranberries osmotic is. Which I, my cousin Carol she got on there and explained to me what osmotic stands for. So if you read the comments on my last video and you wonder what cranberry osmotic stand for that's that's she explained it she's pretty smart sometimes <laughs> i'm just joking carol actually no i'm not you didn't that was that wasn't offensive or anything ah, my poon gotta find my poon also there's a poon spoon i'm sorry sometimes i like to act like a child oh dang it i was really excited about these pineapples now the freaking fish are gonna eat them oh well there's still some in here i'm sorry love looks like you weren't getting them in pineapple i gotta take a bite of it just like so tell tell the viewers what it tastes like oh man it's decent 
It kind of, kind of tastes like a pineapple upside down cake almost. It's pretty good. I imagine. That's kind of crazy. How I wonder how long these have been sealed in this thing. Five five or five three five three. B eleven A fifteen twenty six ten. I have no idea what any of that means. Was it one of you military guys out there? I'm sure is like, ah, it means this, you dummy. So let's try this Ranger bar. I saved you a couple bites, love, of the pineapple, even though most of it ended up right here. God, that sucks. Actually, some bear's probably gonna wander on tonight and just be freaking stoked. Hey, boo boo. <laughs> we got us a picnic basket. <laughs> I'm sorry, I mean. Sorry if you don't get that. That is a Yogi the Bear pun. Oh, look, it's got a little fresh pack in it. Kind of smashed into it. Ranger Bar Coconut. Really not that great. It is not, not that good. It's not really bad, actually. All right, no, it is, it's pretty good. It takes a second. At first it was just kind of really plain, but I'm starting to get a little bit of that coconut. Kind of tastes like a cookie, like a, a chocolate chip cookie with no chocolate chips and coconut in it. Yeah, after a second, at first it kind of tastes like you just ate a chunk of chalk. It's, it's not bad. That's pretty good. And once again, if you were really hungry, like in a starving survival situation, this would be freaking excellent. Be, that's why I kind of really don't want to eat too many of these, because I mean, if stuff ever shit hits a fan, I mean, this is going to be a freaking delicacy. I mean, when it comes to beans and rice and stuff like that, that'll get you by, but these are going to be really good. So after a couple of weeks of eating nothing but beans and rice, and even though we live in an awesome area where we can go shoot deer and catch fish, which we tried to cast out and catch a couple of fish here, but it's really not a good spot. It's too far up the creek, whatever. There's a little minnows, but nothing, nothing really good. All right, now, now for the most much anticipated carrot pound cake. Sterling Foods. Thank you, Sterling Foods. Actually, I don't know if I should thank you yet. We'll get a, get a couple bites of this down. And check our... The heater does seem to be working a lot better than it did last time. So, yeah, read the freaking directions. Don't just listen to some random guy on the internet. It smells good. All right, it doesn't really look that good. I was, I was expecting... I don't know what I was expecting. It's good. It's, not, yeah, it's pretty good. That's definitely edible. That's actually, like I said, in a survival situation, that would be like heaven for the mouth hole. It'd be phenomenal. Okay, well, I guess we'll uh, go ahead and take a quick break. We got this. Like I said, I don't necessarily want to open this. I showed you guys in the last video everything inside this satchel. Except instead of hot cocoa mix, there's tea, tea mix in this one. So that's the only thing different here. And then the crackers and peanut butter, which we, we had those last video. So we'll just save those for the bug out bag and we get right back to you when this is ready. Awesome. Okay, we're back again. And uh, Rabia, she said that the pineapples were thumbs down, no bueno. So not a horrible thing we dropped them all she said that the ranger bar she really liked the ranger bar coconut bar as soon as she took a bite she's like this is freaking excellent and the carrot cake she thought she liked that too so now it's time to try these vegetable manicotti is what we have here which also she threw a little chunk of the ranger bar into the creek here or whatever and these little water skippers are freaking brawling over that little thing so the water skippers give the ranger bar a thumbs up I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off, seeing they say it's got hydrogen on it. Yeah, even though you aren't eating plastic, but oh well. Let's go ahead and knead it down a little bit and see if we can rip it first. Nope. Thank you, boss. Leatherman. 
he don't watch my videos. He doesn't even like the internet. Of course, I don't blame him. If you're employing 30 people, whatever, last thing you want to do is playing around on the internet. I'm going to cut it a little more. I guess I could have done that afterwards. You guys don't need to waste your time. Steal the spoon, the poon out of the pineapple here. Give that a little rinse. Even though I didn't really mind the pineapple, it wasn't really all that bad. Rubia did not think so. She gave it a thumbs down. Actually, if she had three hands, she would have gave it three thumbs down, I think. She's only got two. Thank goodness. Actually, it'd be... Nah, yeah, two's good. I had to think about that for a second. Alright, vegetable manicotti. Let's go ahead and give you guys a look at that. It uh it looks like a meat substance inside of it, but we'll see, I guess. This is I mean it smells good. It smells like pasta, you know, and kind of a tomato sauce and stuff, but pretty plain. I mean, they're pretty much the only thing you're really getting flavor out of is the pasta sauce here. I mean, it, it's... Once again, though, in a survival situation, this would probably be freaking phenomenal. But uh, right now, seeing that we're probably going to end up eating, like, some Taco Bell or something a little bit later really not all that excited to eat the rest of this so uh i'll take a couple more bites just to make sure it ain't gonna get better miraculously in the middle but it tastes like a, a vegetable cheesy paste type not even cheesy paste i don't really know how to explain this i kind of i mean it's definitely edible i've ate way worse and so far, everything I've had in these MREs, whatever, just like the last one, has actually been decent. Those crackers and peanut butter, the crackers are a little, you know, they're not crispy, crunchy crackers like we're so used to with our saltines. We just go to the store, but if you're out in the middle of the desert or in some jungle or something like that, I imagine that's, well, it's the best you're going to get, so you can pretty much accept, it, accept that. So, Okay, this was my review on this one. This MRE here, once again, it is a uh, number 14 vegetarian. Did you see that left? It's a uh, vegetable manicotti. And uh, I'd say on a score from 1 to 10, I'd, I'd give this one a 6, probably. Probably a 6. Rob score. Like those Doug DeMiro videos. We're never going to have a Rob score. So my Rob score would be a 6 out of 10 for this one, which uh, I didn't rate the last one, so... I'll give the last one a solid eight, maybe eight and a half. That's, that's beef and vegetables. I want to say, that, you know, out of these two so far that I've tried, that beef and vegetables was freaking great. I mean, that the Ranger Bar was pretty decent after the, the initial kind of chalkiness. But once you got the flavor of it, whatever, it took a second. I mean, it was actually pretty good. And the pound cake was decent. I was, I think I was just too over anticipated for the pound cake to be just freaking phenomenal, whatever. And I mean, it was good, but it, you know, when you got your hopes up so high, it's kind of, yeah. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Let's do this stutter a little bit. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed as much as I, I like making them. I mean, this was a fun video, but uh, let's get back to doing stuff about rigs. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Stay beautiful.